Our international affairs editor, Armin Georgian, joins me on the set for more on this. So France is about to feel the pinch as well. Well, it's actually a total stopping of supplies to NG, which is not what we heard earlier in the week. Uh, what NG had announced on Tuesday, I believe it was, was a reduction in uh, supplies from Gazprom because of uh, differences about contractual obligations. So uh, a polite way of saying that uh, Russia expected payment that it was not getting from the French side. What we're now hearing is that there's going to be a c complete uh, rupture in uh, supplies to NG. Uh, NG actually doesn't get that much of it. It gets a very small uh, share of its supplies from Russia. So it has tried to sound reassuring, saying uh, to consumers and businesses, don't worry about this. We've We've got this covered, essentially. Uh, the French prime minister yesterday also tried to sound reassuring. And today, uh, the head of the Commission uh, for the Regulation of Energy, or CRE, here in France, has al also uh, tried to sound pretty confident about all of this, saying that uh, there would not be uh, problems uh, to uh, get through this winter, but uh, that, that uh, the president of this commission is also not ruling out increases in prices, which inevitably would be passed on to the consumer. But what she is saying is that if there has to be uh, some sort of triage of priorities, it would not be households that would be cut off. If things get much worse, you know, worst case scenario, it would be some businesses or some industries that would have to be you know, have to have their supplies reduced, but not ordinary households. So that is kind of the message from different quarters, from government regulators, uh, ministers, and from NG itself. All right, Armin, thanks so much for that.